people, what's going on? Welcome back to Dog Diaries. This is episode two. Today, it's gonna be epic. We're on the way to Liverpool, so people, let's do this. Peace. So we're back again, Dog Diaries. Look at that beautiful. This is actually Shanti's sister, people. Look, this is Shanti's sister. She's going to be getting breeded today. And this is the stud. We've just come to Liverpool now. Look at that chocolate. Beautiful. What puppies are going to come out from here, people? are going to be beautiful. Mark my words. Yes, people. So today is a wonderful episode. We're with two amazing dogs. One dog is the stud owner and it's the wonderful chocolate. This chocolate try is beautiful. He is 21 months old and he is a beautiful old English. We came all the way to Liverpool to meet him and it was a pleasure. He was a wonderful dog. So we have just arrived outside the clinic now and we're in Liverpool. So while we're outside the clinic waiting, we thought why not let the dogs play with each other and get to know each other and get a bit familiar. So you can see the other dog is beautiful. This dog is actually Shanti's sister. The dog on the first series, my dog, this is her sister. She is beautiful. Same age, 14 months old, blue chai triple carrier. What a, she's a beauty bro, she's a beauty. So as you can see, we are just outside waiting. As you can see, he is foaming at the mouth because he's so excited. He is a first stud. So it was a bit of, not a struggle, but we was getting him used to and the owner was making him feel calm. I think that there was a lot of people around, so he didn't feel at ease. So we was doing little bits and bobs just to make him feel more at ease, as you know. You want him to be at the bestest. But he was ready, as you can see, the foam round his mouth. He was ready to go, people. Yes, people, so the woman in the clinic has just told us that she is ready for us to get ready to come inside. So we are going inside now to the clinic. We are in the clinic now, people, as you can see, they're still making the dogs play with each other, get familiar. You can see the owner rubbing his dog's belly to make his dog feel calm, know that his owner's there to feel safe, he's not panicking. As I said at the start, this is his first time studying. Also, this dog don't like vets. <laughs> so you can imagine, he's thinking, I'm back at the vets, get me out of here. <laughs> so people, we was inside waiting on the vet woman to come out to do her job and do what she does best. So we'll be back. So people, about 20 minutes to half an hour went past and nothing still didn't happen. So the owner started to do a couple little tricks out of the box what a lot of breeders and dog owners will know gives them incense so he was waving the dog around in the air the back of the dog to give him a bit of incense um, as the nurse was still trying to see if anything was going to be happening he wasn't really taking to these people as i was saying it was his first time studying and i think the major thing he thought he was back at the vets so I, he didn't like it people poor dog so they let him chill out again. We was in there. They were still waving the dog around, chilling it out, giving him the time, not forcing nothing, people, because you can't force no dog to do nothing. That would be the worst thing to do. So as you can see, the owner was rubbing him down, trying to get him ready. We was there waiting patiently, people. And in the end of it, the nurse said to us, you know what? She thinks that we should go back outside with the dogs but she was gonna try one more time. As you can see, she's trying now. So people, unfortunately, there was no luck this time. So the owners brought their dogs back outside to just chill out, get some water and have a break. 
it was getting a bit stuffy inside for the dogs and I believe that's what was affecting the dogs as well. So we thought we'd have a breather with the dogs. We was outside for about 15 to 20 minutes, something like that. The dogs was getting to know each other a bit more, playing around. We were still doing certain things to help them outside. And then the nurse shouted the dogs back in. This time we decided, the crew, not to go in to leave the dogs because we didn't want them to be too much people around and that's what was putting up the dogs. So here you can see the pictures of the dogs back inside getting ready. And this time people, I was happy to say, he went in and the big lad performed. And it was, everyone was happy. It was his first time and bless him, he came through. You can see the dog there, everyone was good. So it was a good ending in the end. Also, people, because it was the dog's first time, the owner thought he would get the semen checked out. And if you know what, dogs and breeding, you will see on the camera there, he had very, very strong semen. They were strong swimmers and it was loads. So he was a happy people in the end. Both breeders, both studs left smiling. Hey people, we are back. This is day two. We met the owners in Liverpool again. As if you know or if you don't know as a breeder or as a studder, you need to insert the dog twice with sperm. So you do it normally the day after. So this was day two. We was back with the dogs. This time he did not mess about. He performed straight away. So they was in and out. The dogs was just outside saying the last goodbyes, bless them. I would like to thank the owners of the dogs once again for letting us be involved and letting us record this experience and we'll be definitely staying in touch people and we'll be going back to see what puppies come out because we can't wait ourselves just like the owners. People, for all the dog lovers out here, it means a lot for us as well if you could like, subscribe, share this page. Also, I'm going to leave the owner's Instagrams at the end of this video. So go and give them a follow, like, give them a shout. It's your boy, back again, Dog's Diaries, till next time, peace.